Hey guys, uh, super quick video. I'm having some issues with my SCX24. Uh, let me show you what's happening. I'm gonna turn it on. There we go. Okay, see it's on, lights are on. Turn on the radio. Can you hear that? got a mind of its own. It's trying to turn the wheels, but not really. They're just shaking back and forth. If we look at the servo, servo shaking, right? Also, you can hear that whining. It's trying to back up very, very slightly. Oh, there it goes. If I pull forward on the trigger, just barely, it stops. But then the more I play with it, the more it seems like it wants to just go backwards to the point where, look at it. It's literally now, I'm not touching anything. The radio's right there. One hand's holding the phone, the other one is holding the truck, and it's backing up. Um, I don't know what the blinking green light is. Uh, it just says G LED. Um, I do know that there is like steering dual rate and throttle trim, and if I adjust the throttle trim, trim to forward, which is what that should be doing, because that's your throttle trim. Um, it should turn neutral more forward, but it's not clearly. It's backing up on its own. If I turn throttle trim the other way, doesn't seem to affect it. It just still wants to go backwards. doesn't like drive backwards. Here's something that's really fascinating though. Turn it upside down because it goes crazy. If I turn the throttle reverse on, it just goes crazy forwards. Then I turn throttle reverse off, on, off, Steering reverse, doesn't seem to change anything, but then my steering now isn't even working. And if I push steering dual rate, change that, still nothing. I know hitting the bind button a couple times will take it into different modes so you can change like your other channels, so your end stops for like these two channels and whatnot, or your dual rate, I guess is what it's called. Um, yeah, I'm gonna reach out to Axel and see what they say, cause this isn't okay. It's a spectrum transmitter, pretty sure. Oh, that's fascinating. I push channel four. It like goes into high speed forward. The same as when I push this. Channel three is not doing anything. That's working the lights as it should. Lights should be flashing now. And they're not, they're just going off and then on. So is my radio broken? Something going on with it? Does it freak out when the batteries get low? I don't know. But when I turn it off, everything stops. That's totally fine. Um, I know the servo's not messed up because I hooked this servo up. Let me show you what happens when I do that. New servo. Now it's trying to go forwards. I'm a little afraid to um, hit steering throttle reverse because fly off the table. Yeah, throttle reverse. 
still does the same thing. Okay, um, but now the servo, still nothing. And I was getting something out of the servo not that long ago when I first plugged it in. Like you plug it in and it'll center, it'll do its thing, but. Uh, steering trim. Is that moving? Nope. Steering dual rate. Trying steering dual rate both directions. I'm getting absolutely nothing out of the servo. But the fact that it stops freaking out as soon as I shut off the radio tells me there's an issue with the radio and not with the receiver. Watch, I'll take this, turn it. Oh, I gotta turn off the truck. So otherwise it's fighting me. So that's turned. Turn on the truck. Turn on the radio. I know you're supposed to turn on the radio first, but there it is. Centers, does something, it holds itself there. I can't physically move it, it's very strong. But I can't get the servo to do anything. And I'm just messing with steering dual rate because that did something earlier. But I can't even drive the truck because it won't sit still and it won't turn. Let me just hold that. Oh. See? It's freaking out. It shouldn't be doing that. No matter what I do. Okay, now we're getting something out of it. And now it's going away. I literally am doing the same thing. It was working. Now let's do the steering dual rate right down all the way. Which is what's making it shake right now. And now, you can see me getting movement and then the movement slowly goes away to nothing i'm not touching anything else i promise i know i haven't used the truck in like a couple weeks because i ruined the battery that i had then i got a new battery its battery worked fine the first couple times i used it let it sit for like another two or three weeks battery works fine i've checked the cells they're okay that obviously powers it I didn't hook the battery up backwards. Yeah. Don't know what's up. If you guys have any ideas, uh, I'd love to hear about it. If and when I do come up with a solution for this, I will come up with a solution. Even if um, Axial's like, yeah, we're not going to do anything, whatever. I bought the truck in June. It's not that old. It's never been wet. These things are in, like, perfect shape. Um... I'll buy a new radio, I'll buy a new receiver, my truck will work eventually. So when I find a, a solution, I'll definitely post another video and I'll link it right up here.